Hi, I am Caitlin Nutter Dowling and I'm the Associate Pastor for Christian Education here at Westminster Presbyterian Church. And I'm so glad to be with you again this Tuesday, whether you're starting your day off with me or ending it or somewhere in between. Thank you for taking time out of your day uh, to stop and to be still with the Lord and with me. I thought today it might be fun um, to read out of our children's Bible that we gift to all of our babies when they're baptized. And even uh, if they're a little bit older than babies, we gift it to them. It's one of my very favorite Bibles because it has diverse pictures of who Jesus and who Jesus' followers were. And it really helps to put the question of what was happening in the Bible into modern day uh, for the kids. It doesn't just ask them to be passive readers, but to be active listeners. So let's listen today to the story of Jonah, which may seem like a familiar one to many of us, but maybe it can speak to us in new ways today with this new kind of reading. So this one is titled, Jonah Runs Away and it's based on Jonah 1. Have you ever had a job that you really didn't want to do? Maybe you tried to forget about it and hoped it would go away. Or maybe you did it, but you were mad about it. Well, this is what happened to a man named Jonah. God gave him a job that he did not want. You see, Jonah was a prophet of God and that means that his job was to tell people what God told him to tell people. And God one day said to Jonah, go to a place called Nineveh and tell the people there to stop doing hurtful things. Tell them to say they are sorry or I, God, will punish them. Well, Jonah did not want to go to Nineveh. You see, Jonah was from a place called Israel, and the people from Israel didn't like the people from Nineveh. Instead of doing what God asked, Jonah ran in the other direction. He paid his way to sail on a ship. He thought that this would put him farther away from God, and he wouldn't have to do the job God sent him to do. Well, out at sea, a huge, scary storm blew up. Waves crashed over the side of the ship and everyone was really afraid. They started praying to all of their gods, except for Jonah. He was fast asleep below the deck of the ship. Well, the captain found Jonah and he couldn't believe that Jonah was sleeping through such a terrible storm. What are you doing sleeping? The captain said, get up and pray. And so Jonah got up and he told everyone on that ship, which God he worshiped. He said, I worship the Lord, the God of heaven. The sailors thought that Jonah was running away from God and this scared them. And so Jonah said, you're right. I am running away from God. Throw me overboard and the storm will stop. Well, the sailors tried to reach the shore, but they couldn't do it. So finally they threw Jonah over the side of the ship. And at that very moment, the storm stopped. The sailors worshiped Jonah's God. But God was with Jonah. A big fish came and swallowed Jonah up. And while he was inside of the big fish, Jonah prayed to God. And after three days, the big fish threw Jonah up onto dry land. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You know, every time I read this story of Jonah, which is fairly often in children's ministry, it comes up quite a bit. I think about Nineveh. And I think about the Ninevehs that I don't want to go to. You know, the places where your parents told you you shouldn't be there at night. The places where when we first moved to Buffalo, everyone said, oh, you really shouldn't live on that side of town. You see, as people, 
we separate each other into boxes of places that are safe for us to go and places where those people are. And Jonah, like us, was sent to a box that he didn't want to go to. And so he ran away from God. And I think many of us do. Maybe we don't pay for a ship or get eaten by a big fish. Maybe we just look the other way when someone struggling with homelessness asks us to look them in the eyes. Maybe we do slightly smaller things that we think, oh, that's not that big of a deal. At least I didn't buy a ship uh, to sail away from what God was talking to me to do. But I think God cares just as much about the little things the little ways we run away, the little ways we look away as the big ways that Jonah did that day. And so my challenge to you this week is to think about the Ninevehs, the places where we do not wanna go in our lives, here in Buffalo, in our country, in our world. And I challenge you to go there, maybe not physically, but emotionally, financially, spiritually. Go there this week, and I'd love to hear how it goes. I hope this week brings you peace and comfort and all of the best love in the world. Amen. <laughs>